channel. <laughs> my name is Sarah if you're new here and I'm a homeschooling mom in Tennessee. I've got four children and we live on a little hobby farm. Goats and chickens and dogs. <laughs> it's been a little while since I've picked up the camera and just vlogged. I've kind of just documented some of our holiday um, times and also like winter chores so you can um, check out those previous videos to see those but they've more or less been set to music so I haven't really just grabbed the camera and talked <laughs> there's just been too much noise just too much going on and honestly I am so glad that the Sun is shining today because it is just lifting my spirits guys East Tennessee in the winter is just a pretty gloomy place let's just say <laughs> and after you haven't seen the Sun or you maybe you only see it one day a week it is just such a blessing and it's also warm I'm in short sleeves right now and I actually feel pretty good <laughs> so tomorrow's only supposed to be like 38 degrees though so hopefully we have no like tornadoes or something tonight with it's gonna be I don't know in the 60s today and then like 38 tomorrow so yeah anyway what can I say it is January, right? But anyway, I just thought that to uh, do a little filming today. It's about 10.30 in the morning and um, Mike and Nathan are off to work and uh, Hannah's working on her school and I sent the two younger ones outside to play because if it's sunny, they need the sun. <laughs> Vitamin D, y'all. <laughs> anyway, uh, since it was sunny and my plants were looking a little sick, I stuck them out. Out there, you know. <laughs> out here on this porch to get a little bit of sunshine and they all needed watering. So anyway, I did fertilizer. I just did a miracle grow on them. And um, so hopefully the sun and the fertilizer and we'll be all happy again just like all of us with the sunshine. been getting a ton of rain our whole yard is just well there's my shadow but anyway our yard is covered in puddles such as that one anyway you pretty much just have to walk out here in muck boots because otherwise you're just gonna have mud all over you so it is windy out today, that's for sure. Let's see how these chickens are doing. Here they are. There's the small coop. They've really been enjoying goat's milk. That's Blueberry down there bawling. She's with her babies. Uh, so we don't really let her out right now much. Let's go take a look here at her babies. Hey! Hey! How are you? Oh, how are you? There's the babies. Aren't they cute? What you gonna do? Eat my camera? Oh, here comes the goats. <laughs> Enchiladas here. Um, we've got that on the menu for tonight for supper. 
and oftentimes I like to um, kind of get supper done before lunch or right around lunchtime so that I don't have to think about it in the afternoon. We, um, Hannah has violin lessons and you know we'll be home around 3.30 and I hate getting home from that and then it's like ah quick everybody's starving and gotta make food and so anyway that's what I'm doing right now I've made these enchiladas on my channel before but basically you um, melt butter you thicken it with flour put some garlic in it and then um, you have like a beef broth this is a imitation beef broth um, but yeah you do beef broth and uh, chili powder and cumin and sage so it's like just really easy oh and then here it is um, tomato sauce so this is just some from Aldi so it's a really simple recipe and that's your enchilada sauce and then I just put the refried beans <clears throat> and you can put cheese in you know the tortilla with the beans and roll them up so I have a present what is it Crota! oh my come here come here what did you find? Crawdad in the creek. Oh. It was swimming along, so I caught it. Oh. We were all you know, yeah. Well, yeah. I definitely don't want that in my cook pot. Oh, yuck. Look at the floor. We've got a regular pan of bean enchiladas and then this one is actually just um, cheese enchiladas because I've got one such little fella who does not like beans. <laughs> okay moving on I'm gonna make this oatmeal cake and <laughs> let me see if I can show you the cookbook. <laughs> it's from this Flower and Grace cookbook by Valerie Coons and it is one thick cookbook guys and so anyway I'm gonna be making her oatmeal cake recipe drying a birthday cake um, using the Art for Kids hub on YouTube. You're doing good. Okay, they're just wanting you to take it like this. Aren't they? Make little eyes and then color it in. Mmm. And then color these in. And color except, it in. Except for the Except holes. for a little spot.
cake came out of the oven and it definitely did not need to cook as long as um, they said it did. So I need to make a note of that in the cookbook. But I'm just making a um, <clears throat> like a caramel sauce and then I'll have um, coconut. So kids don't really care for nuts too much so I guess that won't go on the top. But anyway, yeah, just gonna make this up and drizzle it over the top of the cake and that's that okay there it is the picture seems like it's um, taller than it is but anyway yeah I think that'll be yummy it's got a cool and then you can cut it into squares so we'll have that later with our enchiladas so unfortunately one of the necessary things of farm life um, when you have goats if you don't want them to have horns is you have to disbud them so we actually have already sold all of our um, bucks as bottle babies but we do have two um, that I showed you earlier um, today Holly and Ivy they are born on the 23rd so Christmas Eve Eve <laughs> anyway it is time to disbud them so we have this contraption here um, that gets really really hot and then um yeah just burns them <laughs> it's horrible <laughs> well i'm going to take hannah and head on out to her violin lesson and meanwhile i guess i'm going to leave the camera here and i'll have like rebecca see if she can get a little bit of footage of the dehorning the goat i don't know maybe you guys don't even want to see that could be kind of yuck but anyway <laughs> i'll put a little clip in anyhow <laughs> so ah uh, and then i guess we'll see what happens when we get back right now it sure is nice and sunny out <laughs> Well, they didn't video the disbudding of the goats. Apparently, Rebecca said that it was just too much. She couldn't even think about it. <laughs> so, sorry guys, no footage, but uh, we had a good violin lesson. I'm back here with my little squish. <laughs> I'm not a squish. You're my little squish. What is a squish? My little lovable boy. <laughs> Are you excited about the cake for supper? Yes! Yeah. And the enchiladas? Yeah. Did you make cheese ones? I did make cheese ones. cooking I would make these soft um, buttery soft pretzel bites out of that cookbook I was showing you earlier the flour and grace one they just look so good I thought they would be fun so I'm just mixing them up here in my Bosch <laughs> the pretzel dough and I cut it all into about one inch kind of pieces and then you put it into this baking soda water <clears throat> for about 30 seconds and then I'll put it here onto the pan
pretzel bite. I, I may have made pretzels like once before. It's been a long time if I have, but anyway. Um, so I guess we'll see if they um, turn out or not. I did use this, um, it's Paci by Pacific Blue Kosher Flake Sea Salt. Um, yeah, it's just like a, a pretzel salt. Yeah. So, Anyway, I guess we'll see. I'd like to make like a honey mustard or something to dip them in. And hopefully I didn't like put too much. I, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hopefully they turn out. Okay now. Wow. Look at that. My goodness. Look at those. This is exciting, guys. I've never made pretzels before. <laughs> so for all of you guys who've made it many times... You'll just have to smile and laugh, I guess. So, all right. Let me show you guys. Oh, well, I guess I shut the picture. So the picture shows, um, let's see if I can find it here with one hand because I'm holding the camera. But the picture shows, um, like the salt. Hang on. So the picture shows like the actual, you know, pretzel salt. And I thought that I bought pretzel salt. So I don't know, you guys. Um, if anybody knows what I need to get, leave it in the comments. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't necessarily look like that on top. But I think they're going to be good. So I'm going to finish buttering these up. And then I am over here whipping up some honey mustard. All right, let me see what I think here. So here it is. Here's my honey mustard. Okay, here goes the dip. Mmm, mm hmm Yeah, those are good, you guys. Mmm. What do you think? Not bad. I need the coarse salt, I think. So with four kids and living in the country, there's just always a lot of laundry. So I find that if I can throw a load of wash in at night, it really does help. Yeah, it's a little noisy out here. Um, I still have kind of a regular laundry day of Sunday afternoon. I like to throw in a bunch of laundry and get it washed. And then generally on Monday, I will get it all folded and put away. Um, today is Tuesday and quite honestly, there's a lot more than just a load of laundry to wash. There's one in here and then I could probably wash at least two more loads of laundry. I know, it's crazy. Like, I don't really know where it came from. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> but there's a lot of laundry to be washed again. So, um, it is 6.41. I may be able to get this load in the dryer and then it, get another load in the washer yet tonight. So. I'll keep an eye on that and uh, yeah so that's one way that I um, help the morning go smoother is if I have laundry in at night and then um, if I can start the dishwasher then at night as well so that when we get up in the morning we have clean dishes ready to be emptied you know and we have a load of laundry to switch so those are two things that, that really really help anyway yeah, if I go to bed with dishes in the sink and my kitchen a mess, it is really hard to get motivated the next day then to do what I need to do. So anyway, I find that even if it's late, if I can do the dishes, <laughs> it makes a world of difference for the next day. So anyway.
Well guys, if you've made it this far, <laughs> thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Um, yeah, I know it was just a little bit all over the place, but it was a day and it was a sunny day and I'm so glad for that. Um, I've just been, I don't know if you guys have noticed lately, but I just have not been vlogging very much and just not really feeling the inspiration, I guess anyway so um coming up I believe probably for next week's vlog um, I'm going to be talking homeschool again I've gotten quite a few comments from you guys underneath my homeschool um, high school curriculum haul that I did I guess probably back in August just kind of wondering how things are going and so I wanted to touch base on that and um, just to sit down chat with you guys and talk about high school. How is it going? What have I had to revise? What have I had to tweak? Um, what are we doing different than what we planned on doing? Or, you know, that kind of thing. Just wanted to talk to you guys about all of that. So be on the lookout for that if you're interested in high school in any way. It is definitely... Um, untread waters I guess I mean I was homeschooled but it was in a whole different state with very little regulation um, so yeah for me this is uncharted waters <laughs> so anyway yeah be on the lookout for that that'll come um, probably next week so I generally try to put out a video every Thursday doesn't always happen as you see but I do my best so Anyway, I um, also, also, seed haul. You guys seem to like it when I do those, so yeah. I was thinking about doing one much earlier this year. I already have my seeds. I ordered them, um, I guess at the end of last season, <laughs> to make sure that I had them, all except for corn. So when we were in New York, and you can... Um, look back a little ways and find the vlogs from when we were in New York State visiting friends. Um, we had the best corn on the cob ever. And they always had such a good corn on the cob up there um, in this certain area. So I asked them, I'm like, what do you grow? What do you grow? So anyway, it's the signature um, super sweet or triple sweet. Let me see. Super sweet. Super sweet signature corn and Johnny Seeds has it. So, I'm going to be ordering a big bag of that corn. <laughs> and we're going to try corn again in our garden for this coming um, planting season. But yes, I wanted to share a seed haul with you guys and also um, some seed organization. So there are two upcoming videos to be on the lookout for. Anyway... I hope you guys are doing really well. I know that winter can just get a little long, a little blue after all the busyness of the holidays. January and February can kind of, you know, just loom on kind of long. So anyhow, I don't know. January has really flown by fast, but it's also been a doozy of a month for us. So um, I'm just looking forward to getting into those warmer spring days. The days are getting longer, slowly but surely, and I hope you guys are all doing really well. God bless, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>